Hello everyone, my name is Hisham. I'm the owner of Clemson Aeronautics where we make the riveting and dimpling systems. Uh, please visit our website or give us a call. And this is my cell phone number so you can call me anytime. Um, this video is somewhat of a uh, concern that I have. Uh, because I read on the internet or people talking about this subject and I'm afraid some folks out there do not understand uh, what's happening with that and I would like to explain it. And it is related to what I'm doing with the rudder. We have <coughs> the flange that carries the counterbalance. And it goes in here, here like so. And it is uh, fastened with two 1032 screws. And uh, <clears throat> I mentioned in the last video uh, to talk a little bit about drilling and lead. First, to drill this, you need a really sharp drill and you start slow and if it doesn't gum up you can go dive into it a little faster but if it's if you can see it start to catch you need to slow down on the feet going in to clear up this uh, lead from around the drill bit so you have to be really careful and you have to uh, kind of sink it for the screw and what happened is to fasten this now after you have all this and you have the screw going through it what holds it in place later on for life is this piece of aluminum here with this nut plate And somebody on the internet had a question was saying what keeps the screw from falling out? That question kind of tells me that he doesn't know that this nut plate is self-locking nut plate. I've read where people have complained that they tried to get a screw through the nut plate and it doesn't want to go through and they would run a tap through it now granted I don't know which nut plate they were talking about but if we would assume that they are talking about this particular one if you put a tap through it, you just ruined it. So you have to be careful. It's self-locking. And what's happening here is once you build this, which you're going to rivet it to this piece of aluminum, and you put it in there and you put the screw through it, it's pretty tight because it's self-locking. So you tighten it up and the screw is not supposed to vibrate out of there now if you run a tap through it that means it could easily vibrate itself out of place and if both of them both screws are loose and they fell out there is a considerable amount of danger because if the rudder um, moves and it the, the screw drops just a little bit and you try to get it back I mean it could get jammed and you can jam your rudder uh, if we assume that the screw just fell out both of them fell out and now this is flying inside the little compartment uh, inside the rudder the consequences could turn out bad especially for someone that's building uh, an airplane like this, an RV-14 
or an RV7 or RV8. I, I don't know their systems and how they are fastened, but I know the RV14 have the self-locking nut. If you tap it, it's ruined. If this is flying around and you do aerobatics with it or something like that, it can cause some serious damage and it could go anywhere as far as the structure failure or a problem flying the airplane and so forth. So uh, the easiest way to deal with it, and I, and I really got into this subject early on in the build. Uh, so whoever here, he can, they can carry it with them throughout the build. They have this information now, uh, the different type of nut plates. Yeah, some of them are not self-locking. You don't need to do this to it and, and you have to be careful. Yes, and if you put a screw in there and it doesn't go through, now you have a problem. You don't want to uh, rivet it to something. But if it is self-locking, please be careful. And how do we know that? In the parts list that we got, there is a number in here that tells us, you know, the, the nut plane. Now, it says it's a MS21047 L three all you have to do is google it and it would you'll find a million places out there that would tell you what kind of a uh, nut plate that is so be careful before you run a tap in anything in the airplane because a screw doesn't want to go through find out why because this could get serious uh, some of those are one-time use so if, if it's if it goes bad uh, 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 it's like the nylon nut once you use it and you take it off it, you shouldn't be putting it back on there you have to get a new one so uh, this short video is is about that subject because it is very important and you can carry it with you throughout your build um, it's it's a philosophy that we have to go by when we're building an airplane um, just like flying and I'm sure if you're watching this video you're most likely are a pilot and uh, the same thing we use in aviation we use in, in in building the airplane just to be careful and uh, run checklists and things like that you see a part that you're not sure of uh, google it or call the manufacturer and ask them questions about it before you do something uh, main concern about this is it's going to be locked inside a compartment inside the rudder you have no access to it later on so uh, if that screw is 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 ruined now or that lock not is, is ruined you can't get to it unless you disassemble the rudder and you, you certainly don't want to do that this is it for today and we'll have another video for you tomorrow thank you for watching and we'll see you next time